Well, along with other great updates in version 3.9, we've got a big update for interviews and a few really cool features that we've been hoping would come and they're here. Uh, so I think let's just jump into it. Now I've already done a video showing you how to do an interview inside of Ecamm. Uh, be sure to check that out up here. And then this is really like a bolt on. These are the updates. So do make sure you watch that one first and then let's have a look at this one and see what else we've added to this. So if you don't have the interview tab open, open, it's down here. You click these two little people and uh, up it comes. Now I've turned mine off. This is what it would look like until you turn it on. Click on there and all of a sudden that changes and now you can see uh, interview is on. Guest can join using the link below. You know all this, we've already covered this. Uh, but uh, note that uh, a couple of things actually. Firstly, you can customize this to different profiles if you like. I'm going to leave it just on this Adrian Salisbury Live for now. And uh, let's go into the settings. So when we're changing things in here, we can put images and things that will sit. We're kind of branding this up ourselves and taking off the Ecamm branding from when a guest joins us. So this is why you might want two different profiles for people to come in uh, uh, as to what they see. So I'm not needing that. I've called this one Adrian Salisbury's Live. There's an option there just to put a page title. If somebody was bookmarking this link that you're giving them, this would then appear up at the top of the page there as a link for it. Uh, not a massive deal because typically we're just going to give a link out to a guest to come and join us. So I've got options up here, uh, bearing in mind, we'll see in a minute how your guest could either select light or dark mode. So we need to have a logo that will work for both. And so if we're in light mode, which is the first one, so up here it says drag an image here. So I'm gonna drag this one up for light mode. There it goes. And then we've got a dark one onto there. So there's my two different logos. You're gonna see where they sit in a minute. And then it's saying I can put a bigger one up over there. I'm just going to put in my training for now. I'm gonna skip over this link for now and we'll come back to it. We do have an option here. Some people love dark mode. I tend to use dark mode for my browser. We can automatically default to it. Personally, I'd leave it off and you'll see there's a little slider that they can choose. Um, allowing private chat, it's kind of given away one of the next features that I want to talk about. Uh, we're gonna want to just keep that ticked on. We'll come back to this one. Uh, show the viewer comments. So when you're on a live, your guest can actually see the chat coming through exactly how you see it into Ecamm and then showing the viewer count as well. So maybe you've got a guest and you don't want them to see how many viewers are on or you don't want them to see the chat then you can just untick those and they don't see it. Turning off audio processing, uh, as it says there, musician mode, this isn't a new mode, it's just been made easier to turn on and off from in here. I would leave that off unless it is a musician and uh, it's really designed to stop cutting out this echo and things from potentially hearing themselves coming back through. So leave that as it is. Actually, before I save this, let me bring up and just show you. So this is the window that your guest is going to see when they log in. Notice it says at the top here, guest.ecam.live, and then that CC, that's my personal number to get into my live. So when we were back up here and it says your guest link domain, instead of it saying guest ecam live, there are actually 14 new links in here. So if you wanted to use a link uh, to share out with your guests, uh, guestspot.live, uh, click to join us, something like this, and then it will have your CC number at the end of it. You can change that around by all means. Now I tend to customize this. So I've, for instance, got Adrian Souls com slash guest and then that cloaks it and it brings people straight into this with a nice customizable link. So that's what that was. So this is at the minute I would come into this and it will ask me to put my name in and then I've got two options here for uh, uh, choosing a camera and choosing a microphone. But notice there's Ecamm branding at the bottom here and then this down here where it says light or dark is, is choosing this light and dark mode. So now when I save this up here and I'm going to refresh this page, what should happen is we lose the Ecamm branding and as you can see there now it's taken on my Adrian Salisbury branding. So if I'm gonna just select, I've got another camera open here, I'm gonna do this and hit join. And then notice now that up here in my interview, we can see that Adrian is joining. Now what I'm gonna do for the sake of this is mute this one and uh, mute my camera in Ecamm as well. And then that allows me to accept the guest in. Hopefully that's going to work audio, yep. <laughs> Um, so you can see now down here, this light and dark mode turns on and off. 
and this is where the chat would be. Any chat that's going on will appear down this side and they're seeing there on their screen what's coming through. So if I were to add Adrian to the side, bring that in like this. So now they're seeing this window as it's coming in and we'll just change that around so we have our cropped screen. There we go. Um, don't worry about that. What I want to show you then, so this is what your guest is seeing and uh, I do actually like the dark mode. I think it's a, it's a nicer experience to be looking at that, but I wouldn't necessarily default people to it. So what else can we do here now? So I want to talk to Adrian. While that video clip is playing there and my audience is seeing that, I can actually chat with my guest behind the scenes. Um, this is already there in Ecamm, but that's the only point that I can chat to them and tell them anything uh, without the audience hearing it. So now when I'm talking to my guests, maybe something happens or somebody comes up on the comments and I wanna just uh, be able to pass something on. What I can do now is there's this new little icon at the bottom of my interview window that I can chat. And so I could send a message to Adrian. So it's here in my chat window and notice they've got a little red dot there now and when they open up their chat then they're seeing this private chat come through over here and then they can do exactly the same thing they can post back down here and i've got this new little chat window appear over this so this is a big step forward and it's something that we've been asking for i wasn't quite sure where this would fit in really whether it would sit up there in with the comments and reactions uh, so there's a new window open, perfect for doing this. And maybe I just want to share something with a guest or suddenly I've remembered, maybe I say, you know, don't run away at the end. Uh, let's just have a chat, something like that. So really big feature and really making this useful to us. Again, one of those features that I think, yeah, we'll realize how much we missed it when it's suddenly there. So uh, thank you so much, Ecamm, for putting this in. I'm gonna say bye to Adrian and uh, kick him out. We'll minimize that again and uh, so I can get rid of that. So there you go, there's new features down there then. I think we've covered everything on there. Yeah, so go and have a play with that. It just hopefully makes the communication easier between you and your guest, makes it a bit nicer, the fact that we can brand it up. I think there are some great features there uh, that just to enhance that interview experience. So thank you, Ecamm. So there's some great little updates there for interviewing. Uh, let us know in the chat, what do you think to that? And please as ever, if you've enjoyed this, do give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, you should be. <laughs> so we're gonna see you in another video. Thank you so much.